Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever we are, something big has entered into Pokemon Go now. It's the Dynamax Battles. Oh, they are hilariously. <laughs> They are now live in Pokemon Go, where well, they will be from 10 a.m. your local time on the 10th, which is today, possibly for you, or has been for you, or is for you, one or the oh, other. Again, we all know we've got the part three of To The Max research. A lot of people are confused because we got it a day early. No, these are now live and 10. And they are everywhere spawning, and I'm going to show you on the power, where you'll be on these power spots, and they are actually named. So you yeah, don't worry about the names of mine, because that's where the locations are, which is quite hilarious. Our three Kanto styles will be in these, and obviously Squibet and Wooloo as well. These will last until 9 p.m. There are no timers as such. I know what I said by that, but it looks like they're lasting for at least 10, 11 ish hours. Again, from 9 p.m., they'll close off, and these hot, these power spots do move around. Again, when you do enter these, which look amazing, we're going to go with this for you live right now. If my game hadn't crashed out, apparently. Two, take two, shall we? Right, let's end. So, we're going to do the. Oh, it's epic. Oh, you still can get it fantastic. You can still get collect particles. Even if you can't, because I did mention in my other video, you need to have the free Dynamax Pokemon. You do get for free the two Wooloos and a Squad Vet to actually enter into these battles. They do cost you 250 Max Particles. You can see that in the right hand corner of your screen as well. We're going to go in, looks like we're going to introduce, go for this Pokemon remaining. Looks like, I guess we're going to have an increase while it looks of it somewhat eventually. Pokemon in 12, so it looks like eventually, but we can only currently bring in. Yeah. There we go. Your free, as I mentioned, your free Dynamax Mons, which we've obviously got. Now these ones, you know, 50 second countdown time by looks of it. Again, as I mentioned, there is no countdown time I like normal raids. That's what we're going to talk apparently. And like normal raids, it just until your Pokemon are defeated and you can do it again. Like when I mentioned, sorry, it's very windy, I do apologize. With these Dynamax, this one, these are technically one tier or one star raids. You can actually solo these, which I'm about to find, hopefully I can. And that is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> And you'll see as you're constantly attacking normal attacking, you'll build up a max meter at the top of your screen, which will then build up and then you can dynamax your Pokemon into it, which gives you power more powerful moves. The obviously the uh, the shield and defense one, and I think we can use a max move by it possibly. There we go, I think we're gonna be done. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna go through this one with you right now. As I said, these are tier one. You should be able to solo these. You shouldn't necessarily need to power up your Dynamax Pokemon, but as I keep saying that you have to have all three within Looks like we can Dynamax on my meter chart. Dynamax in three, two, one. Boom, Dynamax Squire there is now. <laughs> it's insane. Look at this big old beast. And now, yes, you can use your Max Strike if you want, which counts as a power move. I think the turn based move as well, which just did a lot of damage. Wow, this does count for three turn moves, and after three turns, your Dynamax Pokemon will go down back to its original side. But there we go, we have taken down our first Dynamax Mon Bulbasaur, poor little giant. There we go, and you do get some rewards for this as well. You can use 100 coins to get some premium rewards, I've heard as well, but I wouldn't necessarily waste your coins on that. It's up to you. And also, yes, one thing I forgot to mention on my first video, you can pick one of your Dynamax monsters to stay in this power spot, which helps towards anybody else that comes along and does these um, Dynamax raids. And if not, you can get great so some more rewards, I believe, and possibly more spawns around the thing. So. I think we're going to drop in one of our Wooloos actually, we're going to leave our Wooloos there, press continue, there we go, ton load of XP, wow, Golden Raspberry, Rare Candy, and the 10 Premier Balls, again as I mentioned there, you can obviously get Premier Balls paying up 200 coins, sorry, but now we're going to go to Bonus Challenge, and there we go, we're countering our Dynamax, our first Dynamax Bulbasaur, fortunately wasn't shiny, as I was going to say as well, these all can be shiny, all the free Kanto starters, excellent throw, let's freaking go. And a squibe and woo Oh, sorry about the wind, I do apologize. So, let's catch this one. Let's not catch this one, apparently. <laughs> okay. Obviously, I guess the catching does work the same as raids. We've really got limited on the Premier Balls. Another extra throw. There we go. Much easier than the squibe vet and the woo that we were trying to catch the other day. Two. There are three, there we go, fantastic, that is our first Dynamax Canter one for the Bulbasaur, we'll see what the stats are on this as well, I have actually zero clue, but it has a Dynamax, and it's a dead two star, never mind, but we could always Dynamax a big old Bulb, and obviously you can evolve them all if you so wish, so, we'll get into more Dynamax, but that is the whole gist of it, as I mentioned right now, you can solo these one, which is super fantastic, so, right, we're going to catch up in a bit, we just made another big discovery actually, we found out, 
My partner could enter these Dynamax raids. She's only got the two Dynamax Pokemon right now. She hasn't completed step two or three up to the max yet, which obviously gets you a Dynamax Squire Vet. But she was able to enter the Dynamax Raid. Speaking of which, we find out actually a Dynamax Squire Vet, so she technically got one now. So it does seem you either need only one, maybe, or at least two, I reckon still one, Dynamax Mons to enter into these Dynamax Packs. You don't actually need all three which is actually really fantastic. So if you haven't completed step two just yet or to the max and you've only got one or two of the, the Wooloos that you were, could freely obtain from step one and you would encounter another Dynamax Wooloo, you only need this one or two to actually enter into these Dynamax battles, which is super, super fantastic. Don't yeah. So we've made a massive discovery, which is super, super fantastic. I mentioned the said field research task that you have to basically collect particles to complete these field research, but just keep in mind, the ones you get from the field research task can not be Dynamax. You have to battle in these Dynamax raids to obtain the Dynamax Pokemons themselves. But if you're looking for the shines, you're looking for some candy for these Mons, either which way, I would recommend, especially for, because obviously the candy does go towards your Dynamax Pokemon, I so I still, still would. need the Dynamax Core Bunny. That'll be happy eventually. Also, we did get some research. I put in my community page. We did get some new, new information for the Psychic Spectacular event this year, which uh, we're going to get Dynamax Beldum, which League Duck did say it's going to be a tier three or three star Dynamax battle. So you may need at least two, maybe three people potentially to do this one. But it's super fantastic. Another Dynamax Pokemon come into the game. I'm surprised we're getting this for Mega Metagross, but here we go. So some more information is again, if you've got one or two Dynamax Pokemon, you can enter these Dynamax battles, which is super, super fantastic. So we are going to adventure on and probably take down a Squirtle Dynamax raid. But then before, actually before I start, we're going to take down that Squirtle raid. I've got to take you back in time because we've got a shiny ourselves this morning. So catch up in just a bit. Everyone from the future, it's me from the past, by the way. No word of like, cannot believe it. We just got our third one, actually. So it might be invisible, oh but this, it's another shiny invisible Wooloo. It's <laughs> our third oh one. Daddy. It's actually incredible. We're going to try and catch it. There we go. Hit the great for it. Uh, see if it's any good. What an epic way to start our morning off. It's fantastic. Quickly check it. Look at those black sheep. Let's go. It's terrible. No mind. Zero star. Right. Back to the future me. What cool is that? Yes, we got our third shiny Wooloo this morning. And we've just taken down our Giant Max Squirtle, which was hilarious. Um, yeah, Barnes mentioned as well that when you do leave these Pokemon in a power spot, you can earn candies, I assume, for that Pokemon. By the way, as well, you can see, I think you do get some sort of assistance, I believe, as well, within it. Because if you check, I'm not screaming on one now, if you check up the right hand side, there's five parent Mons in there. So people leave their Mons in, do gain a assistance with helping you with taking down these mons so as long with earning candy so candies as well yeah which is super fantastic so we are going and then you can recall it anytime you want it's not shy sadly five two one what was your one uh five fifteen ooh, ooh we I might have got ourselves good possibly i did say anything can i just say how unfortunate the squirrel looks as dynamax is he not like he looks like a t-posing pokemon right <laughs> looks like can, a t-shirt can we catch on the, we call it on the first ball i'm oh. surprised by that we're getting I've, very lucky. We're struggling. To yeah, care. I was going to say, you struggle. So, 5 two, 1, another one, another Dynamax one is. Trash. No? 15 10 10. Oh, God. Mine was 5 Good news as well, by the looks of it. We were trading some other Mons we'd caught around the world, but these are like, they did appear that we can trade them as well. So, you can trade Dynamax Mon, which is super fantastic as well. And I, I might well be doing that, get the better one, hopefully. But, again, like I said, these are uh, shiny legible. So I don't know what the odds like could be well for lots of Oh, I also want to mention, not to mention Willow did pop up this morning for me from 10am as well. We do have the next part of the Galar calling. Yes, it does not say a step, but uh, we've got to basically collect max particles once again from 10 power spots for 5 raspberries, spin 25 Pokeballs or gyms for 15 Pokeballs, and explore 5 kilometers for 5 peanut bearers. Nonetheless, I digress. So we do get 2,000 from XP and a mystery encounter with some sort of Pokemon, so I I think this counts as step six, five, six, I'm not too sure, but, and I think we've almost, we've almost done to the max, we need to complete three three to the max as well, which is super fantastic, I just need to unlock a max move, we've got a couple of brand new uh, max, Dynamax Pokemon now, I can do that, I already unlocked all my moves from my original three Dynamax Pokemon, so I was like, dang, <laughs> so now we've got some more po Dynamax cool. Mons, we can complete that step three three, we'll do that very shortly. Speaking which, actually, one more thing before we just jump off again, I did manage to do two tasks, <laughs> downsides being tall, um, of win a max battle for this, it gives us one of the three Kanto starters, the squirtle at 395, that's <laughs> so so. 405, I think, is the hundo for squirtle. That's a charm, I almost see 420, 400, oh shame, never mind, I'm not shiny sadly. Oh well, unless, right, let's carry on again, let's go and get some possibly more, some more Dynamax Mons, but hopefully all this information, as new information, we're, we're learning on the go today, is very helpful towards you as well, and I hope you have great fun with these Dynamax Mons, I think they are brilliant. 
catch up in just a bit. Hello once again, right, in typical fashion, we took a little break and everything, and the one time I didn't see my camera, I was still playing a little bit Pokemon Go, as always, I had a task hatch, two eggs, I completed that hatch, two eggs, and obviously completed that task, and what did we get? We got ourselves a shiny Galarian Meow, very fitting, hilariously from this event, I will admit, I believe Galarian Meow is a book with a, a perma boost, so like 1 in 65, I think, being a shiny, so hey, I'm going to take it as another shiny today, very, very happy with that, very pleased, not bad stats even, a little bit, but yeah, fitting and very funny at the same time, right, go guys, win, back in a bit, whoop! The next day. Good morning once again, or good afternoon, probably by now. It's once again the next day. Long story short, never mind. So I want to complete our wrap up this video as well, and we'll go through a couple more more bits to do with the whole Dynamaxing thing and kind of thoughts about it as well. Yeah, so I'm a lovely partner again. Um, come up, we represented the Pikachu, 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 Pikachu T-shirt. Hell yeah. Aww. Anyway, sorry, big <laughs> Pokemon. But I want to wrap up, let's get through to the max. I did collect the 100 particles last night. We did stream, thank you everybody who joined the stream. A lot of fun. I managed to do a few more Dynamax raids. This is what I want to talk about as well, how limited you are free as a free player. We'll go through it in just a second. So let's get the 10 Ultra, let's get the 2 Silver Pinouts, let's get the 200,500 even Sorry, Stardust, and let's get our final rewards of 8,000 XP with 4,000 Stardust, sorry. A Dynamax Band, which is a avatar item you get for your character and that is it. annoyingly Galar calling I cannot complete this step just yet again let's get into what I was saying just now well, I might put out my avatar in a second there Galar, the Galar band um, with the case of free to play right now as you know you are capped 800 particles a from well collecting particles from these power spots which is great however obviously yes you can get an extra 300 for walking two kilometers on your nearby so there's the power spot bit uh, which is great than me wrong, but obviously you need to collect that before you max out collecting particles from the power spots. Again, so you can get up to a thousand, which is great, yes, and it's like 260 or something like that for entering these Dynamax raids, which, uh, let's get into this, but they are fans that I found them fun. They are kind of a gimmick right now, you can only use Dynamax Pokemon in these Dynamax battles, take on these Dynamax Mons. Yes, well, let me be wrong, I find it fine, it's a great gimmick, Gigantamax is when that comes out, it's going to be probably completely again change up the whole, the way Pokemon Go works, we shall see. And this is the problem I have, yes, you might have seen in the shop as well, you can buy extra particles, you can buy a one max particle pack for 800, you get 800 max particles, and that's 150 coins, or you can get the free max particle pack, you get 2,400, so you can get well over the daily odd, which don't get me wrong, is fantastic in its own right but you've got to pay and this is where I find it a bit of an issue like for a free to play player you are limited to that 1000 and if you can use it like some reason I've capped today and I've barely got any particles I, I have unlocked another move from my Pokemon because I was trying to complete the step 3 or 3 to the max and I have been taking on I've been collecting particles from the power spot so yeah it I mean if you if you wish to do more Gigantamax raids, you are having to put money into it. I kind of understand that, but I feel like hopefully, or maybe hopefully one day, in my answer will increase the max particles you can get as a free-to-play player. Because I do feel like I said, you are limited, and if you need to unlock moves, that's costing you particles. If you wish to enter these max battles, you need to use particles. And again, if you're limited to 800 from collecting from house spots, and you are get a 300 from walking, which is great. It suddenly disappears very fast, and then you're forced, basically, almost, to buy particles, but that's just my opinion. I'm like, I'm for it, but I'm not for it at the same time. Love the whole dynamic about it, obviously, these dynamics, but I think they're a lot of fun. You saw my, you saw my excitement, yes, I mean, first did these battles. I think they are brilliant. I want to mention, I got, I got some information, you said these, all the Pokemon right now, the three Kanto stars, Wulu and Squibit, are a 1 in 64 odds. They act like a Mega, Mega Raid. They are 1 in 64 shiny potential odds, which is fantastic. Very much low odds. However, again, like I said, once you are, like I said, as a free-to-play player, you are very limited per day unless you put money in to get more particles. And one more thing, you want extra particles, I will put the code up. Now there's a free giveaway Pokemon Go. Did I think we trying to get low people to subscribe to the TikTok account? And here, this is the code. I put it in the description. I put it elsewhere. I'll probably put it in places. I'm up on my community page. If you haven't done it already, do so. I think you get another 250 for free, which it's one Dynamax raid battle at the end of the day, so I mean, it's worth taking, it's free particles, please do so and take it. So, I just want to end off like there, my thoughts on it, I thoroughly am enjoying, I think this whole season, well, the whole season in general right now, is super fantastic, it's a brilliant season, they have really, since all the GoFests came along, which was such a huge excitement, and hyped up everybody, and everybody had so, so much fun in the in-person and the global GoFest, I know I did, and then we had a bit of a quiet period, and now I feel like, 
Nyan Sig have gone like, okay, everyone feels like they're recharged and this, of bring out this brand new season. And so far, it is incredible. I am loving. I'm loving Galaris here now. I'm loving the Dynamax. I admit, I am loving it. I think it's a great incentive. It's a brilliant way. It makes the game more fun. We've got Neuro Shine is coming out, which is brilliant from the Galar region. And Pokemon we've had for quite a long time. Now getting Shine debuts, which is absolutely incredible. Like, don't get me wrong. And again, with Dynamax, it's fun right now. I think they're going to probably, it will slowly improve and it will slowly come into more play. Uh, as the game progresses in the near future right now it is sort of a gimmick and obviously you can get these Dynamax Mons from battling and I mean they do look great they do look fantastic let's be honest here so right now yeah it's a gimmick but what's wrong with a gimmick I always say this but I'll end this video finally off today actually again we got two shines I think yesterday which is brilliant I'm not gonna lie I apologize to uh, interrupt my well myself obviously here but we managed to claim ourselves a third shine which I'm putting in this video on the way back home and I Put AR so I could do the uh, get the sparkles and it's a shiny invisible Baneri. I'll take that free shine today for this video and there's a little bench of a two day. I'll take another shiny for the day. Quite pleased with that. Stats were not so great either as per usual, but never mind. Hey, another shiny, another shiny for this video. Um, okay, cool. That's all I want to say. So back to me rambling on about the whole Dynamax thing. Very happy with what we got. Find our bow from Galar. Let me know how you feel about this new season one. How you do feel about Dynamax? Are you enjoying it? Is it exciting for you? As a freezer play player, would you like as well to see them increase the daily limit on max particles? I personally, I feel like I do as well. Like I don't mind, but I don't want to have to constantly pay for everything. Now you thought about all this stuff. One last thing as well, Alexander, if you're watching this, thank you so so much. We have Ponytar, Kanto, and Gallop Ponytar community day this weekend, and she blessed her bought me the ticket for it. So thank you so much for watching this, Alexander. I really appreciate it. Thank you for that. I cannot wait. I'm, I'm generally somewhat excited for community day. It's a, it's a filler one, but at the same time, the ponies are brilliant, and they got brilliant shinies. I'm excited for it as well. So let me know your thoughts on this whole season right now. The Dynamax and everything. Do let me know, and we will catch you on the next adventure, as always. So much love. Catch you all soon. Bye.